Afukas, welcome. We are going to be looking at um, what Spirit would like you to know using postcards from Spirit, Grace Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get into this. We would like one postcard for Afukas, please. One postcard. Wow, there it is. Let me pick this up. Wow, what a beautiful card. Look at that. Okay, Afukas. Here's your postcard. Dearest you, we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right. It's never too late. Forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own. You don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgive forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others. And that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. Wow, that's beautiful. That is really beautiful, Afukas. I felt that. I felt that. Okay, let's see what else we have here for you. Three cards for Afukas, please. Spirit is really around you strongly right now. And I hope you can feel that. Embracing you. Angels enveloping you with their wings. Loving you. Okay. Here we go. First card out is shine. Next card out is strength. And the next card out is Faith. Okay, Afukas, step into the light. You are a gift to the world. Yes, rise up. Stand in your power. Right? Stand in your power. By holding on to things, this depletes you. It's time for you to rise. Okay, rise. Tell me more about this. Thanks. Okay. What have we got here? Oof. Honestly, I feel I can feel this heartache from some of you. I can feel it in me. Seriously, if you because you need to love yourself, you need to nurture yourself. Yeah. Because you need it and you deserve it, right? Yeah, letting go. Letting go of, I, you know, it's really funny. I don't feel like it's control. I feel like it's letting go of the control that whatever happened to you or whatever this postcard is addressing, letting go of the control that has over you. So I feel like you're trapped. And it's almost like you can't escape it. It's like you can't escape the heaviness and the heartache of it. And so, um, because what's happening is for some of you, you're try every time you feel it and it rises up, you try and push it down or busy yourself or distract yourself from it rather than actually sit with it and feel it. And also, I want to say this here, Fucus, because I tell you what, I'm saying this to you because 
I myself just done this this morning. Okay, I sat with a part of me that tolerated things that have, I have felt, ash felt ashamed of in my life. You know, and um, I sat with that, that person who I was that tolerated that. And I just, I, I didn't sit there and feel the feelings or work out why or anything like that. All I did was sat with her, visualizing in my mind, her in front of me as a separate person, right? And I loved her. And I just um, imagined that I was hugging her and, and nurturing her and caring for her. No judgment, none, just loving her. And what happened from that was I was taken then back to my inner child who experienced, you know, things that caused this adult self of me to tolerate the things that I did that I felt ashamed about, right? So this is one way of doing these things okay of letting go of loving yourself okay yeah look at this lovers loving yourself this is exactly what happened this was upside down i didn't even see it right loving yourself seeing yourself nurturing and caring for yourself allowing yourself to be seen by you right so you can come out of this cage that you hold yourself in and fly Right, step into the light and shine. Step out of the cage and fly. A focus. It's time. It's been time for a while. And so this is another step in that process. Yes, another step in that process. All your dreams, look at all your dreams, right? This is you wanting to step out there, but not doing everything that you quite need to do to get there. Because it's this comfort zone, something you're familiar with. Because, you know, it's been the case that there's been times in your life where when you have stepped out, it's been dangerous. And you've suffered and you've, you've you know, had consequences for that. But now it's different. It is different. Spirit is there and it's up to you to call on them to help you. Okay, knowing that they're there and trusting that they are. Okay, because living like this is exhausting and nothing's fitting into place for you because you're not allowing yourself to rise up and shine. Okay, strength. Face your fear. Every challenge is a blessing in disguise, a gift that makes us stronger, more conscious and ultimately more alive. Okay, can be hard to see it as a gift. And it's not even that you have to see it as a gift, but what you can see is the gift it has given you, which is strength. You know, it's like to, to survive and to have um, come out the other side, what you have been through and to be here, that alone takes courage that most people wouldn't have. Okay, so these are the sorts of things that you look at in a different light. Okay. One more card. Thank you. Okay, so. Intense. See, this, it does feel intense. It can feel intense at times and you can feel like it's out of, out of control, you know. Um, but I want to say about when it's feeling like that, it's important for you to break that state. Get up, go dance, put some music on, dance around, you know, do whatever you can. To, when it's feeling too overwhelming and too intense, break the state, okay. Have fun, all right, and um, go for a walk, have a shower, dance, Go do some gardening, whatever it is you need to do to break that state of intensity because sitting in that doesn't help you. 
<clears throat> doesn't help you to move forward, all right? This is a matter of you rising above and seeing what possibilities are out there for you to do things differently, for you to move in a different direction, for you to move in a way that is actually going to serve you and serve your life, okay? All the things that have happened to you, big or small, have been to help you to evolve into this powerful being that you are. So I think it's really important for you to see that about yourself, okay? Because some of you feel like insignificant little insects in the world who aren't worthy of being here. But what you don't understand is that you're actually a master because of the gifts that you have and being able to survive what you have, okay? And I'm not just saying that to make you feel better or, you know, it's not just words. I mean that. I mean it. Okay, this is hiding in the darkness, putting a box over your head, pretending everything's fine when it's actually not. Okay, we next have this here. This is you hiding the master that is within you. Right? You see the cards jump out. They don't lie. I'm just delivering the messages that come through the cards from spirit here. Spirit only speak truth and they speak it to you because they honor you and you deserve to hear it because you deserve better and you deserve to treat yourself better and it's time to start start honoring the master that you are a focus and stand in that power okay faith have faith. Every event we experience and every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason. Have faith. Have faith in yourself. That if you can get through that, you can do anything. Right? more cards for a few cosplays. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see? This is what you're afraid of. This is this deception that you're afraid of. You're afraid of being deceived again and you're even afraid of your own deception of yourself. This trust and this faith has to start from in here. Of yourself this faith in yourself that you can do what it is that you need to do that you have the strength to shine your light right this is about you trusting in you first and foremost right and when you do you will have the success that you wish for that you strive for that you dream of okay because this master here eventuates from the no thingness, right? This master here knows how to utilize the darkness to shine the light. The master knows how to turn the light on in the darkness. And this is you. This is exactly what you've done. Recognize it. Celebrate it. You are worth celebrating. Celebrate yourself, right? This new adventure that you are going to embark on if you haven't started already. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. Right? Be playful. Let your inner child actually have some enjoyment for once. Yeah? Give yourself that permission here, okay? Break free from the chains that hold you down. The change, chains that maybe other people once placed around your feet. But chains... That you hold there. Rise up. Ephucus, rise up. It is time. Okay. 
time to let the transformation take place. Rise up from the ashes. You have everything you need. You lack nothing within you. You are the master. You are the master of your life. Act like it. Stand in it. Be it. Because you deserve it. And you are worthy. Okay. A few kiss. Short and sweet today. Dearest you. We need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right. It's never too late. Forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own. You don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others, and that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone here believes in you and adores you. Awesome, Mephikas. I am going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.